here. Yeah. Good afternoon, America. I'm Josh Elliott. And I'm Lara Spencer. And we're going to jump right into the issue that we've all been talking about here, tackling it, tackling it from both the male and female points of view. Oh, yeah, we're going toe to toe. Oh, yeah. First up, the new TLC show, Cheer Perfection. It's about young cheerleaders, and it's really only the latest version of shows that we've seen like this, toddlers and tiaras, dance moms. It's essentially kids pushed to the limit by overbearing parents, and it might not just be reality TV parents. Yeah, I mean, people are looking at this now as trends in modern American life. A new article actually says America is suffering from something called the clone complex. Parents, again, pushing dreams, ambitions onto their kids, keeping kids from being kids and figuring out things for themselves, which of course could lead to problems down the road. So we've invited two expert minds to help us out on this. And for the female perspective, we want you to welcome relationship expert and matchmaker, Siggy Flicker. And for the male perspective, the comic, uh, <laughs> to end all comics, the studio audience has certainly met him already, Chuck Rice. <laughs> Trying to butter her up just before you get in there. Good to see you. Oh, wow. I'm waiting for you, Josh. Yeah. No, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez. How, how rude of me. How rude of me. How are you guys? And, and uh, we did ask you to voice in on our website. Here's what you had to say in our online poll. Yeah, 68% of you actually said yes. 32% said no. So I ask you, actually, Siggy, are 32% of American parents kidding themselves they about are the clone complex? 100%. Listen. You have a child, yeah. beautiful daughter. Yeah. You have children, Lara. Yes. You have children, I have children. We all want the best for our children. I get up every day and stress, education, education, education. Yeah. Where are you guys going, Sophie and Joshua? They say Harvard. My kids are not getting into Harvard. <laughs> I mean, they're bright. They're not that bright, though. God bless them. I love them with all my heart. But it is borderline insane. These mothers on these TV shows need to get a life and stop living vicariously through their children. Yeah. To take... Yeah. Thank you. girl and inject her face with Botox. I'm oh, sorry I get no. so passionate about this. It's ridiculous to have them sashay down the runway in hooker clothing like they're a pretty woman or something. What happens when they get up and they have they go through puberty and they get their first pimple? They become <gasps> hookers. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. They won't be able to deal with life. It's going to backfire. You know, I actually understand uh, these parents and why they do what they do, and it's because they are narcissistic <laughs> and, uh, you know, self-centered uh, nut jobs who, who basically want to reinvent themselves in their children so that they can vicariously live out their failed dreams. Yeah. It's like, you know, hey, look, here it is, son. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy didn't get to play in the big game, so you're going to be a quarterback. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Mommy didn't dance, so you're going to dance. <laughs> so, I mean, this is the problem. Uh, personally, uh, I have two children, and people always ask me, are your children going to be in entertainment? And I tell them, my children actually have talent. There's no way I'm going to let them outside me. <laughs> shows then why do these shows get the, the audiences that they get I think everybody in America loves to watch a little bit of a freakish show you want to be entertained at the end of the day and it makes you feel good like at the end of the day I'm like wow I'm really a good mother there you go. look at these other people what they're doing there you go. That's really what it is. It's the ability to look at other people and look and say that they are awful. It's like, my God, you're a lousy parent, which means I'm pretty good. All right, so, and Siggy, it does, you know, we, we look at this too. You see that it's the television camera yes. certainly impacting these situations. You know, Heightening. what's next, really, when cameras start invading, you know, the, the land of corporal punishment? Well, it, listen. Oh, my God, that's a great show. I got to write that down. <laughs> Listen, everybody in life, their goal is to be happy. You mm -hmm. want your children, you want them to be happy. To be happy means to play, to get bruises, scars, and scrapes, to go to soccer and basketball. Right. You don't want them to grow up, and once they they go out to the real world, the first smack they get in the face, they go down. They're like, well, Bobby didn't teach me about this. It's not all about this and teaching them how to be S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -S. That's the way we spell success. No! It's also very dangerous. I, mean, I gotta tell you, that just turned me on. I don't know what's wrong with me. I want to play. I did it for me. I'm sorry. 
You look at Eden, the star of Toddlers and Tiaras, who is really the breakout star of this, mm -hmm. however odd, genre. Her parents theorized they've already spent more than fifty thousand oh, dollars on her. Wow. She's four I'm years. Here. Now, see, oh. now here's the tragedy of that. Uh, $50,000 spent on your child becoming a pageant queen when you could have taken that money and put it away for her education Thank so that you. she could grow up and actually be self sufficient. I mean, that's just terrible. Yeah. Some some uncommon agreement here. I can't going believe toe -to -toe. I was ready to go toe to toe. Uh, listen, what? listen, I can't go to toe to toe because I am working on my obesity right now. We want to say thank you so much to Chuck Nice. Thank you to Chuck Nice. <laughs> Makeup table look like this. If the answer is yes, mine does. <laughs> you need to stay tuned. We've got the five.